Rather than do a day trip in Tanara, we decided to spend two nights there. There are rapid local trains every 30 minutes between Kyoto and Nara, and it costs less than 10 Canadian dollars. So I knew that we would be in Nara too early to check in, so we made ourselves some bento boxes to eat, and we can already see deer in the park. Nara Park is home to more than 1,300 deer. According to folklore, the local deer from this area are considered sacred due to a visit from one of the four gods of the Kasugi Grand Shrine. Killing one of these deers was considered a capital offense up until the 1600s. We stayed at the Super Hotel Lojas right beside the train station. It costs 71 Canadian dollars a night or roughly 7,500 yen. It's a very compact, typical Japanese bathroom. It's actually, so the sink and the shower is all combined. There you go. That way for the sink, that way for the shower and then you can actually set the temperature here. It's pretty cool. Good morning, so I'm here in the city of Nara, Japan, which is famous for the bowing deer. You can see a couple of them behind me. So they will bow to you uh, if you feed them a cracker. So we are gonna buy some crackers and try it out. They're so cute. Yeah, person I can see one of the little vendors ahead where you can buy the crackers. They're 200 yen. So let's go get some. Are you gonna eat one? No, I'm not gonna eat one. You can if you want to try it. Go feed the baby one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any. Hold on. I need my sin. Oh my god, you're so cute. They know they're gonna get fed regardless. Oh, that oh. was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that, was a, so that was a very good bow. Yes. Such a good bower. Yeah, that's really good. Good job. <laughs> so this is great. We've had a couple of them so far and we've got a pretty good system. Chris has the of course. Chris has the crackers hidden in his pockets. I just take out one at a time. Then we find it. <laughs> He's looking right at me. I don't have any. I'm sorry. They've been pretty chill with us. Some of them I've noticed biting people's coats butting people in the leg if they stop feeding them. <laughs> but uh, I think if... That's what you don't want to do. Yeah. That, that person there has a... Has, has a, a huge stack in his hand, so they all know crowd. he has crackers. Yeah. So I don't think their sense of smell is very good. I dropped one on the ground and it couldn't find it. So if you hide them, I don't think they recognize it. I think it's only when they see them. I'm gonna be able to 
the stack here. I'm Cracker Man. Many of the deer are very docile and friendly. However, these are still wild animals. There are signs posted everywhere reminding people that these deer are not tame. They can kick, they can bite, and as you can see here, sometimes they fight. Bowing. No. So we've actually walked pretty far into Nara Park. There's some beautiful wooded areas. We just stumbled on this grove. I believe these are plum blossoms. And we sell crap as well. <gasps> Puppies. I'm surprised they're not bothered by the dogs. The whole time we were in this plum blossom grove, these deer were following this guy around non-stop. You're a beautiful deer. You're a beautiful deer. Because <laughs> you're so excited, you're dropping on the ground. <laughs> I got that. That was a cheeky bite.
Nara is a short train ride from either Kyoto or Osaka and it was a lot of fun feeding these deer. They are absolutely adorable. I'm actually really glad we stayed in Nara though because it's a beautiful town and the people here are so friendly. It is definitely worth coming to Nara and checking out the deer.